Okay, let's continue. Uh, well, just now we have already seen discuss uh, this greedy solution that we want to trace down a number pyramid, pyramid, and then we want to maximize the sum of the all the values we have visited, right? Okay, so uh, if we want to use this one, okay, so if we want to do a greedy solution, so we we start from the three and then we check those two values so and then we want to pick a greedy choice right so uh, at the on the greedy choice uh, I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick the seven so I'm gonna say okay I want to pick this one okay and after that from seven we check two values two and four and we want to pick the higher one so we pick this choice okay and then from four we have five and nine and then we want to pick a greedy choice so we pick this one okay so this is how we made the decision okay and uh, is this the the highest possible sum of the numbers we can visit from top to the bottom so in this case we have a total of 23 and the answer is yes so this is this greedy algorithm does give us the optimal solution only for this case however this algorithm it doesn't guarantee to give us the right solution so why because if you see those are the values we have checked okay this is the problem because we never bother to check the six six here three here and eight here, eight there why because their parents are the smaller values for example we don't even have a chance to visit six because four is the smaller value compared with seven and we don't have a chance to check eight because two the parent two is a smaller value compared to four right so how can I give you a sample that this algorithm doesn't give you the optimal solution that's easy say if I change this eight to eighty or if I change this three to three Henry and then guess what if we're staying with the greedy algorithm and then we will still have the sum to be the 23 and then that is wrong okay so the point I'm trying to make is well uh, even though uh, greedy algorithm is cool and it is fast and it is easy to design it doesn't always give us the best solution or the optimal solution okay so what's the time complexity of the algorithm and it is O n because we only need to trace down a uh, trace down uh, uh, trace down this uh, pyramid once however this doesn't give us the uh, uh, the right answer okay so the next question is what is the brute force way so that we can find the maximum of the sum of the trees from the top to the bottom so if we want to do that in the brute force way and then we have to exhaustively try all the different passes say uh, so if we have a tree like this and then there are two possible passes from the top down right so we go hmm, oops somehow it's not working okay here so well in this case if we only have a tree of two levels and then we can either go this way or this way and if you want to increase the tree level and then you, or if you want to increase the height of the pyramid and then if you increase to this one and then we have a total of four different traces so we can go this way and this way or this way or this way 
or right and right so in this case we have a total of four different passes and then if you want to increase the height by one again and then we will have a total of eight possible passes and to make sure we find a trace from the top to the bottom and then we have the maximum of the sum we have to exhaustively visit all the possible nodes and then get this uh, the maximum of the sum right so that is a brute force way to solve this problem so we can't go with the greedy algorithm because we can easily prove the greedy algorithm doesn't give us the right result okay so why uh, about why have we spent so much time talking about uh, this number pyramid and the greedy algorithm okay this is the point the point is remember yesterday we talked about the card training algorithm the algorithm we use to build the decision tree right so how do we do the decision tree building okay so think about that let me create a new drawing canvas so we start from the root so this root should be the whole data set okay and then what do we do we try all the possible splits right so we from the root and then we can have the split one we can have the split two split two and then etc and we can have a total of n splits okay and then for each of the split what do we do so for each of the split and then we will have the genie one and then the genie two and then we want to calculate the Gini 1, Gini 2, and then we want to have a weighted average. So eventually, we want to have the weighted this is the weighted average of the genies for the split one and then for the split two that's the same thing we want to have the genie one and the genie two and then eventually we have the weighted average again and then after we have the weighted average of all the possible splits how do we make the decision so we are checking the first, uh, the weighted average, the weighted average, and then etc. So eventually, we want to pick the lowest weighted average, and then that split will be the split we are gonna make. Okay. So what is that? That is indeed a greedy algorithm so on each of the node on each of the node not just the root but each of the road what we are going to do is we just try out the puzzle splits and then we make a greedy decision the greedy decision is on the weighted average genie after the split okay so the card training algorithm itself is nothing but a greedy algorithm so as we said what's the problem of a greedy algorithm the greedy algorithm doesn't guarantee to produce the optimal solution so what does that mean in the decision tree so for a decision tree we make a greedy solution on the first split and after the first split we are going to have two nodes right and then on those two nodes how bad are they when they want to split down we don't know we only guarantee that for the current split that is a good split and then for the further splits we don't know we only know the first split is a good split and then in the further splits and then if they are both terrible we don't care because this is 
the greedy solution. So what's the point? The point is with the greedy card training algorithm, we ain't gonna have an optimal decision tree. Our decision tree is built 100% on a greedy algorithm. And then if you're looking for a, a optimal, the perfect decision tree, well, we don't have that. Well, the card algorithm doesn't produce that for us. Okay, so this is the point I'm trying to make. The greedy algorithm and the card tr tree training algorithm. So to sum up, a greedy algorithm makes a greedy choice on each step. So it's easy to code and then it's lower complex uh, time complexity. But it doesn't always produce the perfect optimal solution and the card training algorithm we uh, the algorithm we use to build decision tree that is also a greedy algorithm this means we we ain't gonna have an optimal decision tree so the next part how do we want to fix that so uh to build an optimal tree is np hard so what is np hard so the short answer is for the np hard uh it is not going to be solved in a polynomial time. So this is if this is a uh, computational heavy task to find a optimal tree. And actually, we don't have to find a optimal decision tree. Why? Because the next topic we are going to cover will be random forest. So we are going to continue our lecture in the next week. And so I think that's it. Okay, I will see you in the next video because there is a further question, a further task for you guys.